Remember the vegetables that I showed you in my ASMR video a couple of weeks ago? It's related to They're called kohlrabi, and I spiralized them and I turned them into something really delicious. Stay tuned to find out what. Hello, welcome back to my eating show. Today, I made a vegetable stir fry. There's no recipe for it, I just threw a bunch of vegetables together and some ham and then some spices that I'm used to tasting in Asian food, I guess. So what I have is some diced ham, some julian carrots, and I have, where's the bean sprouts? I do have bean sprouts in here somewhere. Uh, where are you? That's not a bean sprout. Ah, there it is, bean sprout. Here's the bean sprout and then the carrot and the diced ham. And then the, this green leaf right here is just the leaves of the kohlrabi vegetable. I just chopped them up and put them in here. I was gonna use uh, spinach, but there was no need to do that if I already had greens available. So this is what I have. This is the um, kohlrabi noodles. Uh, kohlrabi noodles. So let me get to tasting this. If you like the taste of cabbage, hmm. kohlrabi tastes just like cabbage. The leaves, let me see what the leaves taste like. It just tastes like a standard green. I wanna say it's kind of like collards, but. I can't put my finger on. It could, chard. It kinda of tastes like Swiss chard. And I love Swiss chard. Mm. Well, this is my kind of noodle dish. <sighs> it's gonna get really spicy because I put red pepper flakes in here. But I pretty much just threw all this in a wok with some mirin, which is rice wine and then coconut aminos, which is my substitute for soy sauce since I'm allergic to soy. And then I use sesame oil and fish sauce. Mm. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna talk, but I got a mouth full of food. I also, I didn't have any fresh ginger, but I did have some ground ginger. And I put that in here as well. So I'm tasting all of these flavors, which I absolutely love. And you can use pretty much any other vegetables to go with this. Mm. Kohlrabi is a vegetable that when you spiralize it and you cook it, 
it doesn't fall apart like uh, like a potato or something because potatoes if you try to stir fry them you can't cook them for that long or I haven't been able to master cooking sweet potato without it breaking up into a million pieces but that's why I like the kohlrabi because it's a lot of stir fries vegetable stir fry will have like cabbage in it so this already tastes like cabbage so I don't have to worry about that mm. So now I have a healthy, I have a healthy meal to snack on this whole weekend. This is the kind of stuff that I normally eat. I try to stay away from bread as much as possible. So don't be disappointed if you don't see me eat anything with bread for the next uh, couple months because bread is one of my fastest weight gain triggers. And I know I'm small right now, but I don't care who you are. If you don't watch what you eat or if you don't know your body, you're going to gain weight. I would rather just avoid eating the foods that trigger, trigger a weight gain. So you'll see me making a lot of Asian dishes, especially Korean because I love Korean food. My lips are burning from the red pepper flakes. Oh man, I put too many red pepper flakes in here. Hmm. 
Oh, that's hot. Oh. My lips are burning so bad. Next week, I'm going to be eating some sushi. So stay tuned for that. I'll show you what my favorite sushi roll is. Mm. These little diced pieces of ham taste incredible. Wow. Mmm. Oh, my hand's starting to hurt. Mm. Okay. Just so you can see, this is how much left I have of my vegetable stir fry. You can see that. So those three little kohlrabi bulbs produce a lot of noodles. Hmm. My lips are burning so bad. I think next time I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna put like a, a teaspoon of red pepper flake in my, in my food. I think a tablespoon is too much. Swine makes everything fine. Yep. All right, that's it. So tune in next week. Subscribe if you already haven't. Thank you for watching and have a good weekend. Bye-bye.